The Yasin or Ala Haqq Kurdish, Yasin Yasin, Persian, Ala People of Truth is a syncretic religion founded by Sultan Sahak in the late 14th century in western Iran. The total number of Yasanis estimated at around 2 million or 3 million. Primarily found in western Iran and eastern Iraq, mostly ethnic Goran Kurds, though there are also smaller groups of Turk, Persian, Lori, Azerbaijani and Arab adherents. Some Yasanis in Iraq are called Kakui. Yasanis are also found in some rural communities in southeastern Turkey. Yasanis say that some people call them disparagingly as Ali o Alihi or worshippers of Ali, which labels Yasanis deny. Many Yasanis hide their religion due to pressure of Iran's Islamic system, and there are no exact statistics of their population. The Yasanis have a distinct religious literature primarily written in the Gharani language, which also is known as Horami dialects. However, few modern Yasani can read or write Gharani, a northwestern Iranian language belonging to the branch Zaza Gharani, as their mother tongues are Southern Kurdish and Sarani Kurdish, which belong to the other two branches of the Kurdish language family. The speakers of Sali, living near Eski Kalik, are adherents, as Edmonds (1957–195) and Musa (1988–168) observed. Their central religious book is called the Kalami Saranjam, written in the 15th century, based on the teachings of Sultan Sahak. The goal of Yasinism is to teach humans to achieve ultimate truth. The Yasani believe sun and fire are holy things and follow the principles of equalization, purity, righteousness, and oneness, which leads some researchers to find Mithraic roots in this religion. Yasanism is barely mentioned in historical religious books as its doctrine and rituals are largely secret. The followers of Yasanism perform their rituals and ceremonies in secret, but this has not relieved the harassment of many of the Yasani by Islamic or other governments over the centuries. The followers of this religion say that after the Islamic Revolution in Iran, pressure on the Yasani community has increased and they have been deprived and discriminated against for over 30 years. One of the signs of Yasanich males is an intact mustache, as the Yasanich holy book Kalam e Saranjam says that every man must have a mustache to take part in Yasanich religious rites. Topic. Beliefs The Yasani follow the mystical teachings of Sultan Sahak. From the Yasani point of view, the universe is composed of two distinct yet interrelated worlds, the internal and the external each having its own order and rules. Although humans are only aware of the outer world, their lives are governed according to the rules of the inner world. This aspect of the Yasani faith can be identified as Kurdish esotericism which emerged under the intense influence of Batini Sufism during the last two centuries. Among other important pillars of their belief system are that the divine essence has successive manifestations in human form and the belief in transmigration of the soul in Kurdish. Yarasani believe that every man needs to do what is written within their holy book, the Kalam e Saranjam, otherwise, they are not part of Yasin. There is no compulsion or exclusion in Yasin, anyone who chooses to follow its precepts is welcome. The Yasani faith's features include millenarism, innatism, egalitarianism, metempsychosis, angelology, divine manifestation, and dualism. Many of these features are found in Yazidism, and they also have many things in common with Zoroastrians and Christians. Unlike other indigenous Persian faiths, the Yasinism explicitly reject class, caste and rank, which sets them apart from the Yezidis and Zoroastrians. <laughs> Epochs of evolution According to Yasani philosophy, the universe is evolving in through different epochs and that these epochs are 1. 
first epoch, or Shariat, which includes the period from Adam and Eve until Muhammad, also known as the Prophet period. Point two. Second epoch, or Tarakar, which includes the period from Ali ibn Abi Talib until Shah Koshan, also known as the Doctrine period. Point three. Third epoch, or Merfat, which includes the period from Shah Koshan until Sultan Sahak, also known as the Mystical period. Point four. Fourth epoch, or Hakikat, which includes the period from Sultan Sahak until today, also known as the Truth. Period. Topic: <inaudible> Divine manifestations. The Yasani are emanationists and incarnationists, believing that the divine essence has successive incarnations known as Masriyats, similar to the Hindu avatars. They believe God manifests one primary and seven secondary manifestations in each epoch of the world, in either angel or human form. These seven persons are known as Haftan, which means the seven persons. The primary Masriyat of the first epoch was the divine essence known as Kawandagar, who created the world. The primary Masriyat of the second epoch was Ali ibn Abi Talib, the fourth caliph and first imam of Shia Islam. This explains the alternative name for Yasanis Ali Alihi, believers in the divinity of Ali. The primary Masriyat of the third epoch was Shah Koshan. In the fourth epoch, the primary Masriyat is held to be Sultan Sahak. It is said that he was given birth by Dayrak Rezbar or Katan e Rezbar, a Kurdish virgin, and as in the case of Mary, it was a virginal conception. While sleeping under a pomegranate tree a kernel of fruit fell into her mouth when a bird pecked the fruit directly over her. According to Yasani legend after Sultan Sahak had completed the revelation of his esoteric teachings Hakikat, to his first disciples among the Garan he took his leave of them. Disappearing from the Garan country without a trace, he reappeared in Anatolia in the form of Haji Bektash Veli. He taught mystical doctrines and techniques in those lands for almost a hundred years, and then returned to the Garan country. In the perception of his disciples there, he had been away for only an hour. <laughs> Half Tan or Seven Persons Each epoch in Yasani belief saw the appearance of the seven secondary divine manifestations or Half Tan. In the first epoch they appeared in their true angelic form, while in subsequent epochs they appeared in human incarnations. The Haftan are charged with responsibility for the affairs of the internal realm. The secondary Masriyats of the first epoch include the archangels Gabriel, Michael, Israfel and Azrael, and a female angelic being. The Masriyats of the second epoch include Salman, Kanbar, Muhammad, Nusayr who is either Jesus Christ or Theophobus and Balul. It also includes Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad as the incarnation of the female angel. The Masriyats of the third epoch include Shah Fazlullah Veli, Baba Sahang Dudani and Baba Naous. In the fourth epoch, the Haftan or seven persons charged by Sultan Sahak with responsibility for the affairs of the inner realm consist of the following, the Haftan, the seven archangels are key figures in the Yasani belief system and their history. The only female among them is Katan e Rezbar, the mother of Sultan Sahak. Pir Benjamin, considered the incarnation of the Archangel Gabriel, and he has the preceptor title to all Yasanis Monday. Pir Musi, the incarnation of the Archangel Michael and known as Recording Angel Tuesday. Mustafadawan, the incarnation of Archangel Azrael Wednesday. Sultan Sahak, the incarnation of Divine Essence Thursday. Baba Yadega, also known as Ahmed and Reza Friday Katan e Razbar Saturday 
Dawood Koswar David notice slang called Daoo, he is known as Dalil in Kurdish language to all Yasanis Sunday, these seven persons are known as Haftan, which means by word, the seven persons. Topic: Transmigration of the soul. Yasanis also have a belief in transmigration of the soul, Dunaduni in Kurdish. The Yasani have a famous saying about death: "Men do not fear the punishment of death. The death of man is like the dive which the duck makes." Human beings go through a cycle of 1,001 incarnations. During this process, they may become more purified based on their actions. This process is confined however, only to Yasanis, the Zada gel or people created of yellow clay. Everyone else belongs to the Khaki Sire or people created of black earth, and are eternally damned. <laughs> <laughs> Holy texts The traditions of the Yasani are preserved in poetry known as Kalam e Saranjam, the discourse of conclusion, divinely revealed narratives passed down orally through the generations. These traditions are said to have been written down by Pir Musi, one of the seven companions of Sultan Sahak, also the angel in charge of recording human deeds. The collection consists of the epochs of Kawandagar God, Ali, Shah Koshan and Sultan Sahak, the different manifestations of divinity. The epoch of Shah Koshan takes place in Luristan and the epoch of Sultan Sahak is placed in Horaman near the Sirwan River, the land of the Gurani. Also important to the Gurani is the Daftar e Kezana ye Perdivari, Book of the Treasure of Perdivar, a collection of 26 mythological poems or kalams. The sayings attributed to Sultan Sahak are written in Gurani Kurdish, the sacred language of the Ahlehaqq, which also is known as Horami dialects. However, few modern Yasani can read or write Gurani, a northwestern Iranian language belonging to the branch Zaza Gurani, as their mother tongues are Southern Kurdish and Sarani Kurdish, which belong to the other two branches of the Kurdish language family. Some Yasani literature is written in the Persian language. Topic: <laughs> Worship. Topic: Holy sites. Two important sanctuaries of the Yasani are the tomb of Baba Yadgar, about 40 kilometers away from sarpol e zahab in Kermanshah province, and the tomb of Dawood at Zard, about three kilometers east of sarpol e zahab Another important shrine is that of Sultan Suhak in Shaykhan near Perdivar Bridge in Kermanshah province. The tombs of Pir Benjamin and Pir Musi in the town of Kerand in Kermanshah province, Iran are also important shrines. <coughs> Customs One of Yasani men's apparent signs is to have a full moustache, because in the holy book Kalam e Saranjam it says that every man has to have a moustache to take part in their religious rites. The concourse of Yasanis is called the Jam Khana. They gather there for Ahlehaqq jam similar to Jem in Alevism and they use tambour for meditation. Topic Organization Topic Candons or Spiritual Houses Yasinism is organized into spiritual houses or kandans, seven of which were established at the time of Sultan Sahak, and four afterwards, making eleven kandans in all. The Kandans were established when, along with the Haftan, Sultan Sahak also formed the Haftawain, a group of seven holy persons charged with the affairs of the outer world. 
they were Sayyid Muhammad, Sayyid Abu Wafa, Haji Babusi, Mir Sur, Sayyid Mustafa, Sheikh Shahab al-Din and Sheikh Habib Shah. Each of the Haftawain was charged with responsibility for the guidance of a number of followers, and these followers formed the original seven Kandans, namely Shah Ibrahim, Baba Yadega, Ali Kalanda, Kamush, Mir Sur, Sayyid Mosafa and Haji Babu Isa. After Sultan Sahak's time another four Kandans were established, namely Atesh Bagh, Baba Haydar, Zolnor and Shah Hayas. Every Yasani therefore belongs to one specific Kandan, which is led by a spiritual leader called a Sayyid, to whom each member must swear obedience. The Sayyid is the spiritual leader of the community and is normally present during the ceremonies attended by the followers. Sayyids are the only ones allowed to have full access to the religious texts of Yasinism, and have traditionally competed with each other to have the largest number of followers. The position of Sayyid is hereditary, being passed down through the generations from the original founders. As the Sayyid are considered spiritual parents, it is the tradition for them not to marry their followers. Topic Demographics The majority of Yasanis are found in the Kurdish areas of Iran and Iraq, especially in Horaman and the Kermanshah province of Iran. Topic In Iran The Yasani in Iran are mostly found in Loristan and Kermanshah provinces. There are also large communities of Yasanis in some regions of Iranian Azerbaijan. The town of Ilkichi, which is located 87 km southwest of Tabriz, is almost entirely populated by Yasanis. For political reasons, one of which was to create a distinct identity for these communities, they have not been called Goran Kurds since the early 20th century. They are called various names, such as Ali Alahis and Ahlehaqq. Both the Durzim, Zazaki, Zaza people and the Gurani, who speak a language that is considered to belong to the Horamani branch of the northwest Iranian languages, adhere to a form of Kurdish Alawi faith which resembles the religions of the Yezidi, Ali Alahians or Druze. Topic: <laughs> In Iraq The Yasani are known in Iraq as the Kakui. There are Yasani in Iraqi Kurdistan, around Kirkuk and Sulaymaniyya. The speakers of Sali, living near Eski Kalik in Iraq, are adherents, as Edmunds 1957-195 surmised and Musa 1988-168 observed. In Turkey Yasanis are also found in some rural communities in southeastern Turkey. <laughs> Relationship with other religious groups A group of native, allegedly Iranian, but archaeologically Mesopotamian, monotheistic religions practiced by Kurds consisting of Yasani and Ezidi along with Chinarism, Ishikism Ishik are claimed as Yazdanism by Merdad Izadi. An excerpt from the French Review of the Muslim World describes the difficulty in nomenclature for Yasanism and related Shiite mysticism. The English translation reads, First of all, we must clear up the confusion resulting from the variety of names given to the sect of Alehaqq, which are liable to be misunderstood. Like any religion, the one we are dealing with considers itself to be the only true and orthodox one, and it is natural that its adherents give themselves the name of People of Truth, Alehaqq or Alehaqiqat. This term lacks precision, as other sects, for example the Horufus, occasionally apply it to themselves. 
Still, the name RLAHAQQ to refer to the sect of our particular interest has every advantage over appellations such as Galat, Ali Alahi, and Nosseri that the Muslims and most European travelers use in speaking of them. The first term, which encompasses all of the extremist Shiites, is too broad and too vague. The second term, deifiers of Ali, has the same fault and emphasizes what is only a detail in the religious system under discussion. Finally, the name, Nosseri, belongs to that well-defined Syrian religion, which, despite some resemblances with the doctrines of the Alaqq, the worship of Ali, the communion, etc., appears to present a complex of quite different old beliefs. Topic: <laughs> Relations with Islam. Ahlehaqq view Islam as a product of a cycle of divine essence, which was made manifest in Ali and established the stage of Shi'at Islamic law. This was followed by the cycle of Tariqah Sufi teachings, then Marifat Sufi Gnosis, and finally the current cycle of Hakikat ultimate truth, which was made manifest in Sultan Sahak. The final stage supersedes the previous ones, which frees Ahlehaqq from observing the Sharia rules incumbent on Muslims. Ahlihaqq class other Muslims as either Ahli Tashayu followers of Shi'ism or Ahli Tazanan followers of Sunnism. The Ahlihaqq neither observe Muslim rites, such as daily prayers and fasting during the month of Ramadan, nor share Islamic theology and sacred space, such as belief in the day of resurrection and sanctity of the mosque. Extremist Sunni Islamic groups such as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant and Al Qaeda regard the followers of Yasinism as unbelievers who have to convert to Islam or die. These militants have prosecuted Yasanis during the Iraq conflict, possibly prompting some Iraqi Yasin community leaders to declare in 2013 that their people were actually Muslims to avoid sectarian attacks. See also Ali Ilahism Goran Kurds Mithraism